Time to take a look at some hot properties in real estate, beginning with one lovely one mm. that Adele purchased. 9.5 mil US, uh, 6,597 square feet. It's lovely. Yeah, and it's, you know, it's probably all she, oh, wait a minute. This yeah. is nice. Are you noticing what I'm noticing here? What? It's empty. It oh. is. It really doesn't seem like, has it been, oh, it's there's a so, table. And a it couple of cushions. And a, it's minimalist, yeah. A couple of cushions. Yeah. So what does Adele just have to, this is like half a CD That's for her. Gorgeous. That's big. gorgeous room. This is oh, gorgeous. Look yeah. at this open room here. And guess what? The neighbors, Zoe Saldana and Jennifer Lawrence, that, that's kind of cool. I can see them hit, I like just the sitting there around together. the fire having a little glass Absolute, of wine. I like Imagine. those three. Those you three, know, those three, yeah, I like that. I'm looking at this house, and this has Adele written all over oh, it. Oh, look at this kitchen. Oh, my gosh. That's stunning. Love wow. that. You and know it's what? It's got the character, whites. too. I really oh, like the character the, of it. And the floors are gorgeous. And look at the vaulted so ceilings. Four bedrooms. Oh, my gosh. It's only four bedrooms. It, That's all it needs to be. Guess. There's just beautiful. There's six bathrooms, though. So this is purchased for nine and a half. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nine and a mm. half. Also, for nine and a half, Michael Jackson's Thriller Villa. If we'll go the to that. The one that they shot now. it in? Or the this is the, where he lived with his kids from 2007 oh, oh, uh, oh. To, to his death in 2009. Okay. This is the gated area. You know, remember they yeah. took him out after his death? You know what? It is, um, it's something else. So it's Spanish Mediterranean style, uh, this estate. Look at that. 7,000 square feet. Murano glass massive. chandelier that you're seeing there. 9.5 million. Again, 9.5 mil. I hope we get to, you know what? He, he was known for rehearsing at home. So there's a mirrored um, master room that I hope we have because a lot of his famous choreography uh, was done there. Now, mm -hmm. And this is the house in which he passed away. So I, yes. I'm wondering uh, if anyone has lived in this house since 2009. You know what? That's a very good mm. question. I think that's the, wow, look at that. Well, there's a, there's a, uh, a this is a the chapel, chapel, right? 74 seat medieval chapel. <laughs> that's amazing. Built into the home. Whoa. Look at this. That's a kitchen for entertaining. Yeah, and I guess some That's of the a... stuff in there is still kind of the original, like the mirrors are the original ones that he had. I yeah. Don't know, I don't know how much has changed over the well, years. Well, it's an interesting house to be up for sale, for sure, just because of the circumstance mm -hmm. and, and what happened there mm -hmm. and the historical aspect of it. For sure, for sure. I mean, wonder, though. you know, because with, with it being Michael Jackson, a huge, huge celebrity, people would want to think, but on the other hand, it's so sad. Mm. It, it absolutely is. I just, I remember um, after the performance when the world first saw the moonwalk for the first time, Motown 25 was the show that it was on. And I can't remember if it was Fred Astaire, uh, I want to say it might have been, who called him and said that was just astounding, mm. just astounding. And he idolized Fred yeah. Astaire, who was known for eating one egg a day. <laughs> so Michael Jackson, <laughs> one egg a day, he was totally minimalist. He, he said it, an egg is the perfect food. And he would do that and then practice yeah. in this mirrored in the, environment, yeah, the choreo, yeah. where, you know, the moonwalk, all these different things. But would Every, it bother you if someone passed away? A, I mean, in this, his case, he's a celebrity, but would it bother you to buy a home if you knew somebody passed away early in it? That's a question. You know what? That's a, it depends it, how it they did. It might to some and it might not to others. Uh, yeah, sure. and it depends how. Yeah. You know? Because mm. then there's that issue of ghosts. <laughs> That's the fun stuff. Yeah, no. All right, let's go to Neil Young's childhood home in Omimi, Ontario. All right, that's up for sale for two hundred ninety nine nine. Very pleasant. That's this is a childhood that. home? Yes. It's childhood home. The Young family lived there from the 40s until 53. And two hundred ninety nine. 900 So this is a couple this. of hours outside of Toronto, right? Between Lindsay and Peterborough. Okay, so not that far. Three bedroom, two bathroom, really See, nice. See, you can still Cent get a home for under a half a million, an hour and a half outside there of Toronto. Go. It's a century home. It is a century yeah. home. Lots of, it's spacious. You know what, there's a lot of upside there. Mm -hmm. not, I mean, shoot, Neil Young lived there, that's enough, but a lot of upside could do a lot with that. Well, and depending on whether they want to save it or not, apparently it's got some zoning um, changes already so you could develop it if you wanted which is a plus for some and or don't touch it because it's his yes. home maybe not. there you go just leave yeah. it the way it is <laughs>